him. <laughs> I got you. We'll cut it there. Hey guys, welcome back to Love Lauren. Good to have you here today. I have Jenny Drogue with me again. Last time we talked about how to have an organized wedding and we're gonna today talk about some of the do's and don'ts being a wedding guest because we've both seen a lot of things. So um, let's just jump right in. Jenny, what's something that is like a no-go for guests? Yeah, one of my main things that I like to remind guests of is that the wedding is not about you. It is about the bride and the groom. So one of the top things to remember is when anybody at the wedding is speaking, especially during the reception, if people are giving any sort of speech or prayer or thank you time, make sure you're not talking over them. Mm -hmm. um, they put a lot of time and effort into this day. They wanna thank their guests. They have speeches that the maid of honor and best man have taken time to write. So just don't talk over the people who are giving speeches. That is so true. I, this actually this wedding season, I feel like I've had the worst experience where um, a best man, maid of honor is trying to give a toast or a speech, whatever it is. And people are just like, the volume is rising because people are trying to talk over and just like have their own good time where like this, it, yeah, it's not about you. That's, that's perfect, so. I would say another big one is knowing like that things follow some sort of an order. So if the bride and groom haven't cut their cake yet, probably don't grab dessert or don't send your kids off to go get dessert from the dessert table. There's kind of an order and a schedule to things and nothing's worse than seeing like all the dessert picked over and gone when half the people haven't even gotten dismissed to get their food or been served yet. Mm -hmm. So there's a time and a place for that after they cut their cake. And if they're not cutting a cake, they most likely will have an announcement or a set dessert time. Very true. Even if it's like placed near the buffet line or near the meal, like just better safe than sorry, just don't touch it until it's time for you, it's announced for you to have dessert. Um, one of the things that I see at most of my weddings is people coming like an hour to 45 minutes early to the ceremony. And sometimes we're just wrapping up pictures or just wrapping up, um, yeah, like family pictures or whatever's happening and the bride and groom like haven't even had a chance to go hide um, and people are arriving for the wedding. So just make sure you're there at an appropriate time. And I know Jenny has seen something different. Yeah, I have been at a lot of weddings where people are arriving like super last minute um, or they're not seated yet or any of that and nothing's worse than a bride and groom being seen during their pictures before they want to be, but also when they're ready to walk down the aisle, they're anxious, they're ready to go. If the bridal party's getting lined up and all of that stuff is kind of starting and people are still trying to find their seats and kind of running around in the back of the location. And so an ideal time frame would be try to be seated by about 10 minutes to the start time of the wedding. Um, that just really gives everybody that's in the wedding a little bit of breathing room and feeling like the event is ready to start and the focus is on them yes actually now that you're talking about that i was at a wedding like just like a month ago that as the like wedding party was starting to come down i think the groom had started to like usher in grandparents and parents and things there were people that came and walked down the center aisle to go sit down um and if that's you if you're late if something happened just like wait in back until yes. everyone's up front the bride has walked in it's yep. like the ceremony has started don't walk in during yep. um a processional just like hold off until yep. um things have started then you can slip in the back and find yep. your seat <laughs> another thing that i would say as wedding guests would be to think about how you wanted your day to go if you are married or how you anticipate your day going if you are not and just kind of remember that the day isn't about you. Um, so yeah, you are free to take pictures with other people that are there or to wanna to get a picture with the bride and groom and all of that, but just kind of think outside of your box. It's not about what you can get to post on social media or any of that, but about the experience for the bride and groom and then you sharing in that special experience with them. So one of my biggest <laughs> no-nos in weddings is people who take out their phones or who have iPads or cameras or any of that when a bride looks back on her wedding day, she doesn't want to see shots of her guests taking their own pictures or having their phones out. Mm -hmm. um, they most likely are paying somebody to capture the day. They don't need your photos. And yeah, you're welcome to take all the photos you want, but make sure that it's not interfering with the actual ceremony or reception or any of that. So just be really 
courteous of when you're using your phones because you're ultimately there at the day to be there in person. That's why you were invited. Mm -hmm. um, so experience that and then find a time to take some photos to look back on and remember as well. Very true. And I think like the most important part of that is during the ceremony. Like I can't tell you how many times that I've had people like um, get in my way, um, leaning in the aisle, standing in the aisle while a bride's coming down and I am missing a shot because of that. And that is, it's infuriating. It's rude to the couple. And I always just want to ask that person, like, what are you going to do with that picture? True. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. On Facebook? <laughs> like, That's fine. with your <laughs> mediocre <laughs> iPhone picture. So be present and just like enjoy it. And um, you will, I'm sure, get, if you really want a photo of the bride walking down the aisle, I'm sure she'll give it to you after a photographer edits the pictures and gives them to you. So, one last thought maybe would be the fact that just be courteous of the comments you're making during the day as well. Mm -hmm. um, going to a lot of weddings, mm -hmm. working a lot of weddings, it's really easy to have opinions. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you maybe want to talk about those or maybe you didn't love something or the food or this or that, but you never know who's around you at a wedding or who's put time or money or effort into it. So it's okay to have those opinions and to share them, but just kind of be courteous about what you're vocalizing when you're at the date too, because you were invited to celebrate the couple. Mm -hmm. um, and so just kind of try to keep it positive and upbeat and yeah. It, help the experience to be one that's fun and enjoyable. Yeah, and just be encouraging and express your thankfulness for being there and getting a paid meal and <laughs> hopefully they're feeding you. I don't know, sometimes. <laughs> but awesome, I think. Is that yeah. everything? Cool, awesome. Well, hopefully you can help, these can help you uh, be a better wedding guest because sometimes they need, you guys need some help. So sometimes we're just here to help you. <laughs> Let us know if you have any other like go-to wedding things as a guest that you should, shouldn't do. But I think that's all we have for today. So thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Bye.